FMS position initialization involves entering the initial aircraft position as well as verifying that the aircraft databases are current. The AeroView Integrated Flight Deck FMS must be initialized before entering a flight plan. The Time and Date tab contains the current UTC time and date. The Sensed position is displayed in the Current Position field. If for any reason the aircraft cannot acquire a GPS position, the message Not Initialized will be displayed here. The date and UTC time are synchronized with the GPS and can only be changed in the event of a GPS failure. The message not initialized is displayed if a valid GPS position is not available and the FMS has not yet been initialized. In this case, the FMS position needs to be updated manually. FMS position is normally updated by selecting the GPS position. If GPS position is not available, it can be manually set by entering the aircraft latitude and longitude or a reference waypoint. In the lat long field, type in the entry without the decimal point between degrees and minutes. Also, delete the space between the latitude and longitude entry. In this example, the seconds of the latitude and longitude entry are zero so they do not need to be entered. To use the Reference Waypoint option, enter the Airport Identifier or a waypoint that exists in the Navigation Database. Regardless of how the FMS position is updated, select Apply once a valid entry has been made. The Databases tab contains information on the Navigation Database and Aircraft Database. This tab also displays the Electronic Charts subscription information. The Databases tab normally contains two 28-day effectivity cycles, with the current database automatically selected at power-up. Current databases are shown in white, while expired databases are shown in amber. Select the other database to change the active database between the two cycles. This may only be accomplished on the ground and will delete the active flight plan if one has been entered. Changing the active database may be necessary if the selected nav database expired while the aircraft was in flight and the aircraft was not subsequently powered down. The navigation database part number and software number are also displayed. The aircraft database consists of aircraft-specific parameters that are used by the FMS for performance calculations. The aircraft database is not updated on a regular cycle. The Databases tab also displays the effective dates for the Jeppesen Chart Database if the Electronic Charts option is installed. This has been an overview on FMS initialization on the AeroView Integrated Flight Deck. Please refer to your aircraft flight manual for more information.